Здравейте! Чудно ви веде! Първи ви да... Така е. И да възмей какво е джагно те. Мы all through the bottom shelf out. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a terminator. That's good, huh? Eh? <laughs> this, this is intense. Okay. The trip wires were set by the roadside with care. In hopes that explosions would soon fill the air. <laughs> Families were nestled or snug in their beds, not knowing that Santa was really an evil robot terminator sent from the future to lure unsuspecting families out to the living room where he would then <laughs> terminate them. Yes. <laughs> Quiet, what are you talking about? It's a good story. It's a good story. You're horrible. <laughs> you go home. Yeah, home. Yeah, he's home. You're nowhere. <laughs> you have no What do you have there, Anita? You know what your probation officer will say about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what she got in trouble for last time. Box cutters. Hey. Side note here, listen to me. Anita is following in my footsteps. She's getting on TV now. Is that good, huh? Yeah, she's on six o'clock news and uh, and cops sometimes is nice. <laughs> First 48 was good. <laughs> you were good. It's almost like it wasn't acting even. <laughs> okay. So we got quiet. Okay. Now where was I? Oh yes, terminate them. So, now since Arnold Schwarzenegger action adventure superstar, super box office smash hit movie maker, that's me. <laughs> Since I'm all those things, the town naturally elected me to a new political office known as the Terminator of Justice. Isn't the Terminator of Justice, wouldn't that like imply that you're against justice though, Daddy? It doesn't make sense. Um, what do you know, Terminator of Happiness? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you don't live here. <laughs> You'll see my first act of justice right now. If you don't shut up. But come over there. That's right. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm doing the best yes, I tell the good stories. Okay, listen. Suddenly on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I opened the, the hatch to see what was the matter. With what do my wandering eyes should appear? with eight tiny SWAT teams fully loaded with gear. <laughs> on red team, on blue team, on green team and yellow. To the back door, to the front door, and kill the first fellow. <laughs> on black team and white team, and pink team and brown. Find the Terminator of Justice and burn his house down. It's a pink SWAT team? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So away to the rooftop I danced with the flash with my AK-47, my pizzazz in my class. The shell casings cascaded on the new fallen snow. All the tiny human stockings had no place to go. The seemingly victorious was I over these buffoons. The Terminator of Justice still had one problem that loomed. They released their secret weapon. They released their secret plot. An eight-foot Santa Claus that was an evil robot. <laughs> this story is about an eight-foot Santa Claus. You beating up an eight-foot Santa Claus. It's yeah. always about you, isn't it? Uh, Are you listening? Wait a minute, Pierre. Yeah. Would you better have a story about an eight-foot warring attacking a house full of not fitting in? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Is he crying? Join my gang. Are you crying? Yeah. Wait, wait. Come on, come here. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Come here, Warren. Come here, Warren. Come here. I don't want to get beat up. It's okay. I won't hurt you. Come here. Sit here. Do it now! <laughs> Listen to me. Don't cry. Okay? Go home to your real family and cry there. <laughs> Didn't everyone have a happy Christmas? There you go there. Story. What? Story. What are you doing? Hey! We're going to go ride my new motorcycle. What are you doing? Thug life. Fine, no. Girl, you'll never 
to work in this family again. <laughs> Would you like to hear how it ends? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to hear how it ends? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this robot was vicious, right? This robot was mean with machine guns and bombs aimed right at my spleen. <laughs> this Santa-like robot had intentions to scare. Then I gave him a look that filled his underwear. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> this is a true story. Anyway, okay. With a twinkle in my eye and a touch of my trigger, I said, your bombs are nice, but my gun is bigger. <laughs> And away Santa flew with the sound of my gun and pieces to the ground. His delivery was done. No more toys or bombs. I stood over the robot and I pondered my mantra. Hasta la vista, puny robot Santa. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, that's a good, hey? Yeah. Hey, good story. <laughs> All right, stick around because uh, Pastor Lynn is going to teach you good stuff here to make your muscles strong spiritually. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I'll see you later then. Right in front of everyone in my PJs. <laughs> so I am now going to read the Christmas story. Um, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant, and while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that's happened which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was a baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angels said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. exactly 
as it had been told to them. Are you tracking with me? Yeah. 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 How many of you understand that, that that's what God does? God does what He says He's going to do. God does what He says He's going to do. God does what He says He's going to do. God is trustworthy. And as I think about the Christmas story and, uh, you know, really look for what it is that God wants to say to us this evening, I'd really love for you to understand that what the shepherds had to do, their part of it was this. They were told in a message from God, they were told in a message from God, are you hearing me? Yeah. They were told that the Savior had been born. The Savior of the world had been born. Now their part was to go and see. Their part was to go and look. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And when they did, they found it just like God had said it would be. How powerful is that? Yeah. See, God does what He says He's going to do. God is trustworthy. You can trust God. Now, God has said, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is the one that you need to change your life. Jesus Christ is the one who can change your life right now, give you a seat in heaven at this very moment that you can look forward to all the way through your life. You can live your life on the fact that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior and your purpose in life. God says that, but what you need to do is go and look. Your part is to go and see. Is what he's saying true? Is what he's saying true? Do you have the stomach? <laughs> do you have the guts to go and see if what God is saying is true? That's the question. God is trustworthy. God means what he says. God does what he says he will do. Will you seek him? Now here's God's promise to you. God says, listen to me carefully. Somebody say, listen. God's promise to you is, if you will seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Do mm. you hear me? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. It is. That's pretty awesome. Give your heart to Jesus tonight. I mean, I want to tell you something. There's nothing better than spending Christmas with the one that Christmas is about. Nothing better. Can you pray with me? <coughs> Father in heaven, uh, what an awesome evening. What a lot of fun to, to joke together and to, to have a good time together and laugh together. Father, we know that we can do that in freedom. We can do that with you because we belong to you, Father. You've given us humor. You've given us... Um, a light heart because we belong to you. Father, it's so good to listen to people uh, laugh and enjoy themselves in your house. But tonight, Father, right now, our focus is turned toward Jesus, the center of everything, the one that is central, the one that is supreme above everything else. And Father, perhaps there is somebody here tonight, perhaps there are those here tonight who truly, once and for all, with all their hearts, need to see the you. Maybe we've said, I'm going to seek after God. But what God has said is, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. Jesus is the one you seek. Tonight, perhaps you would say, Jesus, I recognize that you came for me. I recognize that you died for me. I recognize that I am sinful and separated from God. But I also understand, Jesus, that you paid the price for all of those sins, my sins. And I receive that sacrifice on my behalf tonight. I trust you as much as I can right now. I give you my life. I want to make Christmas this year about you, and I want to spend it with you. I want it to be about you and not about me this year. Help 
me to do that. God, help me to lift you high. Praise you, baby. I pray this in Jesus' name.